The village of Yamel has 11 houses with roughly 60 residents. It looks idyllic, but this is anything but a normal German village. <laughs> Once a year, Yamel residents, Birgit Lohmeyer and her husband, organize a festival in their backyard. It's not your average summer gathering. Actually, it's a protest. Twelve years ago, when they started it, the Lohmeyers wanted to take a stand against neo-Nazis. In this case, that means almost all of their neighbors, they say. For years, the couple tell us, they have been terrorized by them. Until one day, their barn caught fire. That was a direct attack, Birgit says. We have become very vigilant in these past years, especially after the arson attack on us. We have installed security measures too. It's a very difficult situation. There is a constant sense of danger. The burned down barn was located just a few meters from their home. Right behind me is the property of the Lohmeyer family. Here, hundreds of people are enjoying live music in a form of protest against neo-Nazis and others with far-right views. Meanwhile, when we turn around, we can see on the opposite side of the village, there's another little party going on. Sven Krüger, a notorious right-wing extremist in Germany, has invited his like-minded friends to come over for a barbecue. And in fact, the police is stationed just in front of his house to make sure they can intervene in case of any confrontation. It's crystal clear whose turf this is. The flag of the former German Reich, or Empire, is clearly visible from everywhere. A mural shows the residents' vision of a German-Aryan family. And a signpost points the way to Adolf Hitler's birthplace. And to leave no doubt, 88 is neo-Nazi code for Heil Hitler. These are only some of the Nazi symbols we can find in the village. And he is the unofficial boss here, Sven Krüger. His criminal record includes illegal possession of weapons and assault. So, over there, they are leftists, and we are not. And we have to listen to Nazis out the whole evening. At my own garden fence, I was told to get out because I'm a Nazi. So I said, I live here and you don't. They play music against us, we have a nice day, barbecuing together. We'll probably do this every year now against the left-wingers. The crowd next door at Jamel Rock's festival doesn't seem to care much. They're here to support the message of Birgit and Horst. Tolerance and democracy.